cool. I appreciate you. Keep, keep the phone yep. like that. Just like that. Got gotcha. you. Got it. So we're rolling right now. Um, so yeah, like I was saying on the phone, uh, recall is okay. probably my biggest concern and then jumping up when uh, encountering new people. Yeah. Uh, leash zoomies, we talked about that a little bit. He kind of gets like this like crazy hair. And, um, too excited, you know, like yeah. usually just happens when there's a lot of people around. Or, yeah, you know, he gets so excited. Yeah, like and then he gets a little nippy, not like biting, like uh, violent, you know, just like, it's just a play buddy thing. Yeah. It doesn't really bother me that much, but it's just something it's I want to understand, you know. Um, aggression and playing too rough at the dog park sometimes he gets a little it's too related we're gonna talk yeah about okay i understand um keep away is something that he loves to play it's his favorite game like take the things and walk away with it yeah or okay. like uh take the ball and like he just wants the other dogs to chase him and like gotcha. it's not a problem until it's time for game over and then i'm like drop it or like the drop it command like if he gets something in his mouth that i don't want him to have yeah. you know i yeah. need him to listen to me um uh leash walking he does pretty well but sometimes he like pulls a lot and like i'm not the kind of uh dog um owner if you will who um wants like you know straight and narrow all the time like i let him kind of zigzag he wants to sniff around you know but i'm trying to like when he's really pulling i, I want to know what to do what to do so walking and healing kind of goes along with that and he uh, should be okay. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, a creepy. I'm scared too. <laughs> there you. Uh, digging holes. Um, you'll see. We got some. Uh, it's a great trait. Yeah, I've yeah. I've heard. Um, he off has leash. A... Yeah. Off leash. Yeah. What, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, not necessarily. Yeah. Not with him. Yeah. It's, yeah it's it depends pretty... on many factors. Yeah. Not all dogs are all good off leash, and guardian breeds definitely not. Because Hear that. Once yeah. you see something, they deal with it. Yeah. Totally. Um, he hasn't been digging too many holes recently. Like okay. you, you'll see in our backyard, we've got, I put down, um, some big pieces of plywood where he was digging some big holes, but he kind of stopped. I haven't yeah, filled yeah. them in yet. Um, and then lastly, uh, I'm going to, I'm, I will be getting Jubilee registered as a service dog okay. through Lane County. Okay. That being said, I, um, over the, within the next few months, I'm preparing to take him on a plane. Okay, and he, what? he will be in the cabin with me to visit my family. Okay. So I've talked to, I've got two vets. I've talked to them both about this, right? Okay. Yeah. And um, after he was neutered, he was given a drug called trazodone and um, he tolerated it well. Okay. I'm preparing to give him trazodone for this uh, plane ride because uh, I want to give, give him a little sedation, you know? One of the vets, um, recommended to me that I do a kind of training session with him where I give him the trazodone and then uh, have my friend drive around with uh, the two of us while I'm in the passenger seat and he's between my legs for a few hours just kind of as a as a preliminary yeah we can talk about that okay got you it doesn't work like that this easy but yeah okay got you um and then here I just got a few uh questions about um harness styles what kind yeah. you recommend do you recommend hand-free leashes um and then leash lengths and then what about running with the dog yeah we can do that okay cool all right right on so i'll follow your lead um i'll, I'll let you in here okay. i'll show you around the house just uh, briefly welcome here Oh, it's upstairs? No, it's right, oh. right to the kitchen. I'm just gonna, uh, this will prevent him from getting out. After so. But I'm gonna give you the camera because you're gonna record when it comes out. Okay, okay, got it. Just keep the camera horizontal there. Got you. So. My room is back there to the left of the um, washer. Left of the washer? Yep, that's the one. This one? Yep. What's up? Come here. Come on. Hey, Juby. Hello. Hey, Juby, Juby. Who's that? Who's that? So, first thing that I do, I just show him what I have. Uh-huh. And he offers me a behavior. And I reward that. 
as simple as that. I don't reward that. So I, I retreat. He offers a counter behavior, I reward that. Gotcha. Simple as that. Good? Simple as that. He's too close to me. I'm gonna wait for him to give me a little bit more space. As soon as you give me that space, I'm gonna reward him. I just wait there, you go. Good. Okay, <laughs> come. Now he walks away, I call him back, I reward him. Let's see if he can remember that. Good, jackpot. Okay, so there are different versions of doing it. Uh -huh. Some people give the dog a knee, some maybe push the dog away, I yeah. want the dog to offer something alternative here and reward yeah. it. Him walking away, I can call him, and he gets a reward. He offers me an alternative behavior, he gets a jackpot. Got that. Um, for me, like when I'm, uh, when I have him in situations where there are new people going on, or like I might have him on the leash, or as you can see, he's still trying to yeah. jump. Like, how that's, should that's I be Yeah. Give him a structure. Okay. But for now, I want him to have these alternative options available so he knows what to do. Okay. Good. I, and I hadn't done anything. I didn't tell him anything. Yeah. He just offers and I reward it. Yeah. Hey. Come. Sit. Touch. Good. Down. Good job. Reward. Now I can now that I know that he can do it, now I can call it. Ready? Go get it. Where is it? Here. Come. Reward. So even if he didn't find it, I can call him back. Mm -hmm. Here. Come and help him out. Here, come, sit, touch, good, shake. Down is good too. Ah, uh, take down, that's good. Ready, go get it. Here, come, down, good. So now that we know that you can do that, we can make the excitement. Calm down again. Cool. Good. And then he can have some snuggles because he's so cute. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I have to explain all these things to my dogs. Yep. <laughs> Hello. So it's all about the first 20, 30 seconds to, so he knows what to do. When so, he's meeting somebody when new? When you meet some people. So we can create a three second rule. Three oh. seconds, you go and meet, you come back, you get a reward, and then we take the next round. Okay. So if I understand correctly, I should have uh, rewards as a protocol right. available. We want him to come to you to get rewarded and not expect to get from the people. Got because it. he gets frustrated because they're supposed to give him a treat and they don't yeah. have a treat. Yeah. So 90% of the time he gets frustrated with that greeting procedure. But with you giving him the treat and he just meets the people, that's 100% the reward. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So to do that, we have to get our brain together, right? And we're going to look like that. Right? Let's go. Sit. Go meet. The word down is good. Go get it. Come. Down. Good. Go 
we get it. So what I do now is I start creating little tasks mm -hmm. in the coming up. Come down. Cut this, put it here, come down. I only repeat if I recognize he's thinking in the wrong direction or he does something different. Okay. So I don't say down, 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 and he does. Yeah. I give him one kill, then, and then I wait. Good. I let him think through the whole process. If I'm downing him too much, yeah. then which exactly do I mean? The down, down, or the down, yeah. down, down, down? Totally. Here. Come. Come. Good job. Hello. Nice meeting you. Here, go get it. So now he doesn't get the treat from me. He gets it from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Here. Come. Good. Hello. Nice meeting you. Go get it. So now I'm teaching him what do you do when you come up? You get affection and then you get your treat away from me. Here. Come. Hello. Nice meeting you. Go get it. So these are things that you can do on your side so he learns the routine. Mm -hmm. And then when you are the one who's handling him and then you have a friend coming over, you can tell him go meet. Yeah. He meets the person, then you call him back. back. So okay. they recall. Here. Got it. Come. And he gets a treat for coming back. Got it. Okay. Very cool. So call him back to you. Juby. Come here. Good. Pet him. Hey, come here. Hey. Here, come, and then I call him back again. Cool. Three seconds. You go, you meet, you come back, you get rewarded. Yeah. There. Good. Right? So you can add force, you can punish the dog for jumping, you can all these things, but in reality, what he wants to do, he wants to make contact. Yeah. So we teach him there's a better way to make contact. Yeah. Here, come, touch, good. Sit, shake, down. Take it down. We take the down thing. We like it. Down. Good. Can we take that? So when he meets people, he can use, he can say, ask him to be down. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. And then you call him back. Got down. it. Juby, come here. Hey, come here. Hey, Juby, come here. And hey, good dog, good dog. So now that you know the routine, now you start working on that. So you yeah. have one friend coming over. Okay, send over there. I have my dog on the leash. I will come up, ask him to sit. When he sits with me, then I can say, go meet. Then you meet him. You can give him affection. I call him back. He gets reward. Okay. He needs to know what this is about. Yeah. He needs to know that you have something in reward. He needs to know that this person not giving you a treat. Yeah. Right? That's a I thing understand that. Yeah. Because A, he knows to know, he wants to know what's the process. Yeah. He needs to know what the procedure is. And he needs to know what to do. regards to leash training, <clears throat> we want to teach him some basics, uh -huh. the basic cue. The first cue is come, yeah. the next cue is let's go, mm -hmm. gas pedal and brakes. Yeah. Right? The next thing is wait and the other one is slow, okay, come, reward, let's go, come, reward, let's go, come, let's go. Reward. Come. You like that, right? Good job. Let's go. Good. Let's go. Come. Come. 
Wait. No work. Let's go. Wait. Reward. So wait means don't move. Temporary, I give you a reward. Let's go. Wait. Reward. I don't want the dog to sit or do anything else other than just don't move. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I pick up the leash, I pick up the poop, wait on the traffic light. Yeah. Okay? And then we can add slow. Say what? Such a beautiful eyes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he does. Right? Say thank you, Juby. Yeah. They're all, this is perfect. This is how we like it. This is it. Yeah, he has a lot to grow into it yet. How old is he? Year and a half. Yeah. yeah. He has a couple of months still. Yeah. He's a year, nine months, actually. Yeah, yeah. Eight, eight months. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Good. Ready to go outside? Yeah. Down, oh, shit. down Juby. Yeah. Eight. So when he's down. jumping up and, and stuff, should he's I sit? getting excited about yeah. it. So I show you how to handle it without getting forceful. Got it. But yeah. what about saying no? That doesn't help. Doesn't Here. help. Okay. Come. Yeah. All right. Should I put his collar and harness yeah. on? Okay. So for him to put the leash on, all you have to do is put the treats down on the floor. And then you put the leash on, the collar on as he treats the treats, as he takes the treats. Let me see. Hey, and then this? you ask him to sit. What's this? Sit. Uh, we don't actually need that particular okay. harness. Okay. We just use the collar because we're just outside, that's right? Fine. Yeah. You have a long leash? Uh, six foot. Yeah, that works. The reason why I don't prefer that leash because it's restricting. Uh -huh. It's basically more punishing. Every worry, time he yeah. pulls, he pushes his shoulders together. Uh, got it. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, chat with you about yeah, what harnesses yeah. you recommend. Good. And where, where do you go out? Oh, just around the corner here. Okay. This, um, this store to the left and then around uh, up to the back here. So hold on here. Hold on. Go okay. back. All oh. return. Okay. Reverse. Sure. Good. <clears throat> so here's what we do. All right. The theory behind that is if he does certain things and you continue doing those things, then you actually agree with him doing those things that make you do those things. I get it. Yeah. So the feedback would be if you can't have access to the door, you cannot get to the door, so he needs to give you some more space. Yeah. Which means once you open the door, you take also responsibility for opening the door. Got it. Make sense? Yes. It would look it would look something like that. I also again use the treats for here so I can get a starter going. Then I create the routine. The routine is sit, stay, wait. Okay. 
come. Good job, reward for coming back. Wait. Come. Reward. Good job. Let's come. without pulling on the leash mm -hmm. so he likes to communicate he wants to communicate i just met him and still he already pays attention to what i'm talking about yeah so the importance is that everything that you say has an emotional meaning so if you say come you basically feel him coming to you it's not a command yeah right if you ask him to wait put that waiting mindset into it got it it's not something that he has to do and you want him to do it's yeah. something that we should do because that's what the situation calls about. Gotcha. Yeah. So once you pair the emotions with this behavior, it's easier for him to navigate through it. Yeah. Because that's how you feel. At some point, yeah. once you feel it, he gets already the message. Yeah. Before you actually say the word. Got it. Ready? Now the leash walking is very simple. We teach him to come. When the leash ends, he comes back. He gets rewarded. When the leash ends, he comes back, he gets rewarded. I'm not putting any pressure on the leash. He ends the leash. Let's go. Wait. Come. One more. Steal this leash. Let's go. Let's go. Come. And now we do a little bit of emotional cardio. Can I take the leash off? Yeah. Good. Here. Excited and reward. Ready? Now I have him following me. Good. Come. Come. Wait. Sit. Reward. So that becomes a game. And you take that game outside. So once he learns the game and he wants to play the game, uh -huh. we can play a game over here, we can play the game over there, but we can play the game over here too. Yeah. Yoo-hoo! Let's go! Here. Come. Good. Let's go. Go get it. Go get it. part of the game so you can start extending the game with the different games the game of the walk the game of meeting people yeah. the game of doing a little bit of obedience it's fine yeah. don't overkill it you see anything that chases he's upset he's upset belly here Yeah, I've 
fast speed stuff, right? Any questions for that? I get the premise. Um, no, it's pretty pretty clear so far. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't do any force. I yeah. didn't force him to do anything. There was no intimidation. There was no kicking, pushing, poking, anything. Yeah. He just go with the game he wants to play. Yeah. And then start creating a little bit of a structure around that. Totally. And then just give that a name. Yeah. Whatever he does, give it a name. Give it a name. Got it. So because he's the one who offers the behavior. Yeah. So the only thing I have to do is put the name on it. Yeah. And then when I call the name, he wants to do the behavior. Totally. Okay. He's like, take a seat. You want to do the seat. That's why you came home, right? So yeah. take a seat. You totally. gotta follow through with it. Totally. So, exercise. Here, come. Inside the house. One treat at a time. Whatever he does, you call him over. Here, come, give him a treat. Come on, give business. And then let him do it again. Here, come. And so you start to recall. Every time you say something, it's very important because he gets he gets something that he really appreciates. Yeah. And then let him mind his business. So now in his back brain, there was always this recall in mind. Whatever he does, wherever he is, just yeah. in case you call him, you never know, just yeah. pay attention to it. Yeah. So one thing that I do is um, <clears throat> I'll let him hang out out here by himself, right? when I'm in my room, you know? And yeah. so I'll have the door, you know, the, my window is right there. And I'll um, uh, like whistle for him or say, come here. And then when he comes here, he'll come to the window and then I'll give him a treat. Mm -hmm. uh, and that seems like, you know, pretty much in line with what you've been talking to me about. Not today. really. Not really, okay. It's close, but not really. I yeah. would like you to interact more with him in person. Okay. Guardian dogs are personal guardian dogs. All right. You cannot hire a guardian dog to guard the neighbor. Yeah. He guards family. Yeah. So he needs to interact with family. Got it. You can work with him through the window, but that may be 10% of the time. Usually yeah, you're with just, him doing stuff. Yeah, you see how he wants to show up. Bit. Yeah, for sure. You know, totally. Yeah. Got you. But for that 10% of the time, is that appropriate? Yeah, that's fine. Like, okay, got yeah. you. Dogs, you know, garden breeds are too hot in the house. They are warm blooded, they're uh -huh. like hot internally. So they like cool. So yeah. the cooler, the better. Inside the house, it's usually 70. 68 it's actually too hot for a guardian dog yeah for him his regular temperature would be 62 and under oh wow yeah yeah that's chilly that's why guardian dogs hang out in the winter outside because it just feel comfortable yeah the guardian breeds were the more in the mountains him not so much because he's more in a desert area and in a hot area so yeah you can hang out in minus 20 degrees it's just comfortable yeah totally. <laughs> sleep in the snow rain for sure that, that's poopy time yeah. there you go there it goes yeah, he's only half Anatolian, you know. Yeah. So, but. I can see the breed traits. Yeah, yeah. What's the other half? It's uh, Golden and yeah. Bernice Mountain. Yeah, the Bernice Mountain doesn't come so much out. No. He was the only one in the litter who had the golden color, though. Yeah. Come. There you go. Oh, you're good. You're doing a great job. Okay, you're doing a great job. What about aggression with other dogs or um Well like aggression dog? is relative. He's yeah, reactive. Totally. And as a guardian dog, that half make make unruly dogs being the trigger. Yeah. So from a guardian dog perspective, what is injustice? Yeah. Injustice if somebody's not being behaving according to the family law. Yeah. Which means if that's a sheep, you should hang around and eat grass and do nothing certainly, and then somebody else comes over and doesn't behave like a sheep. That's the that's predator. Problem, yeah. So if you behave like a predator, you're my triggers, I've got to take you down. Yeah. Is this aggression? No, it's a reaction. Yeah. Like yeah. it's a police officer pull you over for speeding. Is he aggressive? No. Yeah. Until you do something and then becomes aggression. Totally. Make sense? Yeah. So dog parks for guardian dogs is a little complicated thing, especially unruly dogs. They yeah. become the trigger. Yeah. Gotcha. Right? What we need to work on is instead of him going through the process and buying into the trigger yeah. to come to you instead gotcha. and tell you, hey, this guy is being a jerk and yeah. don't worry about it, stay here, yeah. lay down. Got it, all right. And problem solved. So you yeah. can start going to a dog park and let him play around and recall him, ask him to lay down and then release him going back in. Okay, got it. And if, and if his behavior doesn't change, then I just do it again? Yeah, I would say what I would do if you see him 
understanding certain particular dogs with certain particular yeah. behaviors that he doesn't like, yeah. then every time you see these guys coming Lima. in, you walk out. Got it, okay. A dog park is not a social proper event. Yeah, yeah. It's many are newly dogs who take the stress out, running, doing stuff, usually yeah. nobody cares about. Totally. But you do. Yeah. And so sure. you're not the classical dog park person. Gotcha. Gotcha. But the other dogs are unruly, and he sees yeah. the difference. Yeah. He doesn't like it. Totally. So is he wrong? Socially being not For yeah. dog park related? Yes. Yeah. So, but I he's understand right. that. Here, come. Juby. Come. There you go. Good job. Sure. Now, what about fetch? Well, if he likes fetching, when his other breed trait comes out, that's good. Yeah. What does he like to fetch? he we haven't really worked on it that much okay. and um but i'm just wondering like is it worth it should i or like would he benefit from he would benefit learning if he it. likes to fetch if guardian like, dogs usually don't usually fetch because don't, they have yeah. nothing to fetch yeah what they do hang out sleeping all day yeah have the goats dropping around them yeah, yeah. but if something happens they're 150 percent doing the job and then they go back to bed yeah <laughs> that's the lifestyle and they can really be rough about it yeah but if he likes fetching you can try take a little ball tie him up on a rope Toss the rope, if he runs after the treat, after the rope, you can start slowly, slowly implementing or encourage him to pick it up. So you do fetch with something that's on Whatever a rope? Whatever he likes. Yeah, okay. If he likes to pick up something, use that as a fetch toy. Huh. But have a rope on the fetch toy? Or yeah, so you can manage it a little bit better. Okay, got it, yeah. So you can invite him to chase it, and if yeah. you chase it about it, here we go, you have a, already a chase response. All right. He grabs it, you reward that first. Okay. So he knows that the reward, picking it up what you want yeah and then slowly slowly progressing and rewarding more and more behaviors that he does around that all right yeah okay so first of all is about chasing the ball perfect then he knows where the ball is mm -hmm. now he picks up the ball we reward that picking up the ball is being painful mm -hmm. and then you have to drop the ball oh shit i just learned to pick it up but yes if you drop the ball i'm gonna throw it again uh -huh. and all of a sudden throwing the ball becomes the reward yeah got it okay but you have yeah. to work it out for sure um, I wanted to ask about, <clears throat> he likes to play tug of war, right? Good. And, um, with what? With anything really. Hey, Juby, what's this? What's this? Okay. So instead of having the plastic. Yeah. Get something And else. winds him up. Yeah. You want to take a rope, a dedicated toy rope. Uh-huh. Yeah. Where he can actually latch onto that. Totally. Yeah. I got one inside. Okay. The thing is that um, he's very good with tug of war, and good. like he doesn't like get, he's very mindful of his jaw, you know. Perfect. He doesn't, but um, he the only thing is that he gets really snarly when we play. He's like, rah, 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 rah. well, and that's part of the guardian breed. No, for this sure. This is how they behave around that stuff. Being rough, yeah, scare everybody up so yeah. nobody is coming close to us. Yeah. right? that's it. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Yeah, I figured as much. It was just uh, something I wanted to mention. Yeah. yeah. But he does do well with that. He's very mindful. So in regards of the plane, I would say we should work on a bus. Work on of a car. Okay, on a bus. Yeah, okay, on a cool. Bus because that looks more like an aeroplane because yeah. you have the seats. I like you have that. This, this yeah. space in between. Ow. Nope. I'm not engaging. I'm kind of playing dead. Good. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Up. Up. See? Okay, just a little bit, just a little bit more. So he can he knows how to engage and knows how to disengage. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do at some point is keeping the level low. Don't let him escalate too much. So if you growl, we stop the play. If you don't growl, we continue the play. Where's the reach? Forever there. Any questions? Um, 